my name is Jason Love, and you might remember me from such things as the Jason Loves Life website and podcast, um, possibly from Hillary's Adventures in Politics, or even The Man Man of Magic, which is a comic book that will be turned later into a graphic novel. Now, today what we're doing is what I'm calling Kickstarter Day Zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record my experience with Kickstarter. And you can follow along learning all the things that, uh, that I learned on my way. You, know, you can learn from my failures and from my successes. And as some of you know, I've had a successful Kickstarter campaign for Chapter 1 of the Mad Man and Magic comic book. And so this is for, for Chapter 2. Now, um, the things you have to remember and the things that you'll probably follow along with is planning out, planning out the Kickstarter. Kickstarter parts, and the market. So these are the big big things I want to cover. I'll also include such things as my creation process. I work with my wife who does the artwork, so we'll probably cover a little bit of that because we're going to have to create some marketing stuff and some images. Now... Um, so what do I want this experiment, this video, I guess, blog, to capture is my research that I do, the plans I make, the schedule, and execution. I should have those down. So we have research. So I want to look into such things as, uh, such things as related to, you know, Kids started description, plant length, things like that, marketing, um, you know, the, the whole process. So I'm going to do the research, then I have to create plans. So now that I've done the research, what specifically am I going to do? Then I have to schedule those out. And finally, the execution. So I actually do it. Now most of my time is probably going to be on execution. Execution. Okay. So it's important to remember that I have limited time. And I'm guessing that you have limited time. I have several businesses. I have a young son. I have, so I have a family. And I have some freelance work coming up that is going to keep me very busy. I mean very busy. 40 hours a week. Um, and I actually have to go to an office for this for this thing. So to go to their office, I have to drive an hour. So um, that'll probably be going on. It doesn't start until I'm just sort of working out the details. But should they start in in a few weeks or a week and a half or so? Um, right now, it's I actually don't know the date off the top of my head, but uh, I'll post it up here. So whatever the date is, it, this is the date. And November 1st is when I start, is the scheduled start date for my, my freelance work. So when that is over, I mean, during that time, I'm going to be also running this Kickstart campaign. So I have to do all this, run my business, family. So just my point being that you can do this too. I know a lot of you have 40-hour week jobs and whatnot. Um, you can also do this. Now, Kickstarter. They're just, you know, things that relate to Kickstarter that we're going to go over are, you know, how much to ask for, how long to run a campaign, on whether it should be, should you do seven days and just push through it, or 60 days, and, and try to push that whole time. It depends a lot, and I haven't done the research yet. Um, I know Kickstarter tends to say 30 days, and the last Kickstarter campaign was 30 days, but... Let's, I want to do a little more research into that before we make that conclusion. And so we have Kickstarter, uh, how much to ask for, length, 
We'll do uh, rewards, it's very important. We got how much to ask for those rewards. And then finally, it would be like the description, your imagery, let's say your Kickstarter page. So we'll just write page. So that's, that's very important as well. Uh, your, that's going to include your video, written text, imagery, and whatnot. Now you have to remember, um, some of you might be watching this movie for things other than comic books. This is specifically a comic book Kickstarter. However, it, it also applies with a lot of other specifically artistic things. Now, as well as, as you know, the, the parts of Kickstarter that we're going to go over, we're also going to have to deal with marketing. Now, you're going to want to, I'm going to talk a lot about early on pre-marketing. So, getting people ready to buy your comic book. Please, marketing. And this is going to include a lot of the same things that you would do in normal marketing, you know, as you go on. But this is sort of, this is a way to set everything up so it's ready. A big one will be mailing lists. So mailing lists, in your pre-marketing, you're going to make it so that people sign up. And you're going to continue doing that, but at the same time, you want to actually send messages to the people on your list. Now, another thing we're going to talk about really important is social media. So what social media do you use? Where, um, where can you find software that will make it easier for you so you don't have to spend a lot of time on, on social media? It's very important, but at the same time, it can really suck up your time. So at the same time with that is what social media should you be using? Like DeviantArt is one that I'd like to experiment with. Twitter, Facebook are both ones that I'm, I'm very knowledgeable on already. Uh, Tumblr sort of in there. So so which ones are the best ones to use and what are where should you spend your time? And then finally actual ads. Now this seems silly to have ads, but if you actually use Google ads, once in a while if you keep an eye out you can get good deals. So for example, uh, sometimes they'll just give you they'll give you money to try it out, so maybe a hundred dollars. Um so is that worth it? Or sometimes they'll say if you spend a hundred I had one and I actually have some saved up right now. But if you spend $100, you got $500. So the question is, is that worth it? I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe Project Wonderful ads. PW ads. I've never used them. Would like to give it a try. And uh, other websites. So we'll just call this PR. So public relations. Or actually, let's call it uh, press. Press. So, you know, giving your local paper might, paper might be nice, but you, you know, what, uh, what websites should you connect to? What, what websites maybe you should buy ads in? Things like that. And then since we're doing comic books, it might be a lot of comic book related stuff. So. Now, as I said, this is day zero uh, of the Kickstarter campaign. So, every day I'm going to do one of these videos, talk about what I did for the day, talk about what I learned, go through these steps of research, plan, scheduling, and execution. And I'd like you to, to follow along, and, and hopefully this will help you with your own Kickstarter campaign. So you, what you might want to do is, if you have any questions, you're going to go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Whether you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and leave a comment in the YouTube section. Or if you're watching it on the blog, you can leave it down in the comments of the blog. Either one works. I check both of them daily, if not every other day. If I miss, if you, you do it after I already look at it. And if you're on YouTube or you'd like to click over to YouTube, you might want to subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and put the subscription. This, if you click up in this area, it should say subscribe right now. Um, you can get subscribe and you'll get a video every day. Uh, come back here and check it out. And I hope, uh, hope you find these videos helpful to have a successful Kickstarter campaign.